What a legend, check this out. Hey guys, how you all doing? So Matthew Lau's just travelled halfway up the country for us to come and bring you my new hood. And this is his D46 wide body. Absolutely incredible. We will definitely, definitely be getting a new car and we will definitely be slamming these kits on it. Fact. So you guys all need to go and drop him a follow. And in a bit we're going to fit the new hood and just see how easy it is. But the quality of that thing is blinking next level. So guys, you can see how impatient I am. Uh, Matthew Lauer has literally just left and gave me five minutes and uh, the hood's already off. So you know what's happening. And I can't wait to see how well it lines up. I'll keep you all updated. Hey guys, well, Matthew Lauer is now gone. We've now fitted his hood, right? No word of a lie. I am no mechanic. I am no bodywork expert. None of that jazz, right? But this... This hood has took me about 25 minutes to fit. I haven't test fitted it yet. I haven't closed it yet. I haven't done anything right. So I'm missing two bolts at the rear, uh, nuts at the rear. So I need to do that. But even with it open, it looks blinking mental. Um, so let's see if it actually shuts, how it shuts. Right, I've got new struts on it as well. So it is going to be a bit of a bugger because the weight difference in this is crazy. Right, so. Let's see how it shuts. All right, so we're gonna have a little dawdle back here, and you tell me how cool this looks, right? Obviously, you can't see C because the light's pants. But guys, seriously, check that out. I've had to flip it around the other side, guys, because it's just not not working. Just look at that. I'm serious. Like, that, that's game changer. I was humming an hour in about it the other day, but just, just check that out. Imagine when that's all painted. Yes, I know I've got a gap at the bottom. That is my fault because I need to adjust the lights. But Jesus Christ. I don't know if you can say that on here or not, but oh my God, I am freaking well impressed. Yeah, you can see the gap here. That's That's my fault, that is. It's because I need to sort out the bolts at the rear. But that fitment is bop on all the way down. On this side, guys, check that out. The, that, the, the rear bits, that is my fault. I need to sort that because I haven't got the right stuff to connect it all. But I was just that excited to get it done. Just look at that. Guys, just seriously, check that out. I can't stop looking at it. I'm absolutely buzzing. I am absolutely stoked with this new fiberglass hood, man. I never thought it'd come out this good. It looks freaking sick. You know what? It's really hard to advertise businesses and stuff like that over interweb because people think, oh, you're getting stuff for free or this or that, right? But a bloke who travels, right, 11 hours out of his way to come and drop off a hood and then on his way home repair doors of someone else's, what he's built for him, um... That says so much about a business, you know? That's showing that he wants to grow so freaking big and wants to do all these different cars. Yeah, like Matt Armstrong, he, he wants to go and do a wide body kit for him um, and everyone else in that game. But to see his product on my car, I can honestly say I'm blown away because everything from fitment, the lines on the hood, all the way down, everything lines up absolutely perfect on both sides. I know it looks a little bit strange because it's different colour. But for a pa real pandemic kit to have a Nismo hood and the Jap alloys, right? You know this is now screaming out for a 1JZ, don't you? And you know that's going to have to be done. But this lad's work, right? We've got to put the jet washes into it. And we've got to just cut some holes in the, in the rear vents. But... I've dreamt of having a nice hood. I've dreamt about having nice vents. I was going to go for the two separate, like the uh, E46. But this, this is a game changer. And if you own, <laughs> if you own an E36 or an E46, I'm you need this hood. And the weight difference, right? I forgot to weigh them. I should have weighed them. I should have done. Um, 
it's crazy. Like my shots won't even shut. You actually have to force this down. The weight difference is crazy. Before you, it just sat down nicely, but this is just game changer. Absolutely buzzing. Over the moon. Highly recommend. And I will definitely be getting another BMW just to have his full kit on it because that lad deserves every bit of advertisement and promotional work he can get because damn to think it's not even finished yet and it is already smooth it's crazy quality man absolutely blown away i'm just blown away by the time i take some photos <laughs> right so i just jumped in the car to see if i can actually see it from here right <laughs> that was flipping awesome just look at it I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely flipping buzzing. I never thought this car would have this type of stuff on it, man. You know what? It's hard for a bloke to say how they feel, right? But I'm going to tell you honestly, right? It took me 10 years to stand in front of a camera. Honest, I wouldn't even have a photo done before that. I'd struggle to have a photo done. For a geezer who only started YouTube last year, all right? I know I haven't got massive numbers yet. I will do. I will do. Trust me, I will. And, um... To have all the messages you guys send me about how you like I am and um, what I film and how I enjoy the cars and no matter if it's a built 500 quid car or a 50 grand car, I enjoy them all the same. There's there's no lines in between. There's, I don't value things the way other people value things. And I just want to say thank you for the bottom of my heart because without your messages, without your invites, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. And you lot are giving me more in life and you're making me want to strive for more you you're making me strive more for my family so you guys are massively involved in the channel full throttle nation is all about you guys as well as me that's why i try to get to as many meets as you lot invite me to obviously i can't at the moment because the car's having a load of work done and then it will be back on the road um and when it is it's going to be even sicker um like i can't wait to get the the hydro set up um and the wizard lock front end um i got offered some seats today as well really well discounted as well but yeah it's a hard to it, it's <laughs> it's a hard game to please isn't it you know you start doing one thing and then more and more things pop up and you're like yeah i'd love to get that but yeah i can't afford that at the moment um yeah i'm no millionaire like <laughs> i'm a realist um i just graft a lot and put my pennies into i don't go out drinking or anything my car car's my addiction um and i want to build more and more and more so yeah again guys i just want to say a massive thanks from the bottom of my heart for all the support uh please continue to support and if you don't subscribe to the channel please think about it because we're going to mix things up massively all the drifting and that's going to get involved this year all the tracks and everything else all the meets um just literally everything we're just going to be active as anything this this car is going to be burning off well, it's just going to be burning tires like nothing um, on burnouts, on um, drift drift days, drift meets and all the rest of the malarkey. So, yeah, get involved because trust me, it's going to be epic.